This is a video to explain the topic called solving a distance rate time problem using a system of linear equations. These types of problems include examples in which a system of two linear equations can be used to find the solution. Let's do an example. Two runners start at the same place and travel in opposite directions. Runner 1 travels 4 km per hour faster than runner 2. If the two runners are 60 km apart after 3 hours, what is the rate of each runner? The rule that associates rate, time, and distance is always rate times time equals distance. We will keep that rule in mind whenever we do a problem like this one. To organize the information, we will make a table. We will list our two runners at the left, and then we will write rate, time, and distance in the cells in the first row. This reminds us that rate times time equals distance. Then we will let x represent the rate of runner 1 and y represent the rate of runner 2. Each runs 3 hours, so we will enter 3 as the time for each. Since rate times time always equals distance, we can fill in the cells at the right with 3x and 3y. Runner 1 travels 4 kilometers faster than runner 2. So the first equation is x equals y plus 4. Since the runners are 60 kilometers apart after running 3 hours, we can write our second equation 3x plus 3y equals 60. Remember that when you have two variables, you must have two equations. We now have a system of linear equations. We can solve this system of equations by any method that you have learned, such as substitution, elimination, or using a graphing calculator. Which method would you like to use? Can we use the substitution method? Sure. Can you walk us through the solution? Yes. Since the first equation, x equals y plus 4, is already solved for x, I will substitute y plus 4 for x in the second equation. Distributing the 3, I write 3y plus 12 plus 3y equals 60. 3y plus 3y is 6y, so I can write 6y plus 12 equals 60. Subtracting 12 from both sides of the equation, I write 6y equals 48. Dividing both sides of the equation by 6, I write y equals 8. Now I can substitute y equals 8 into the equation x equals y plus 4 to solve for x. Doing this provides the answer x equals 12. I just noticed that the second equation, 3x plus 3y equals 60, can be divided by 3. If I had done that first, would that step help me to find the correct answer? Yes. Why don't you try it now to see if that would make the problem easier? So I will divide the second equation by 3, and now I have x plus y equals 20. Is that right? Good work. Now go on. Now I will substitute y plus 4 for x in the other equation and write y plus 4 plus y equals 20. Then I will remove the parentheses, collect like terms, and get 2y plus 4 equals 20. When I subtract 4 from both sides, I get 2y equals 16. Then I divide both sides by 2 and get y equals 8. Great work! You did get the same answer using this method. Since the numbers were smaller, the second method may be a little easier. You have done well. This solution, x equals 12 and y equals 8, means that the rate of runner 1 is 12 kilometers per hour and the rate of runner 2 is 8 kilometers per hour.